Here's a picture of two very popular products, Coca-Cola and Pepsi. Obviously this is a very old picture, but I'm going to use the age of the product to illustrate my example. Now, assume at the time that these cans were sold in stores, that they were each sold at 25 cents. And we need to make a couple of other assumptions for this example. Assume first that you are indifferent between drinking Coca-Cola and Pepsi, which means you don't have a preference. Um, I myself prefer Coca-Cola, but for this example, I'm going to say I am indifferent. I can drink Coca-Cola or Pepsi, and at 25 cents, I'm just as happy drinking one as I am the other. But now, we change one variable, price. And I've dropped the price of Coca-Cola by 5 cents to 20 cents. Pepsi has remained the same. Now, if the price of Coca-Cola has dropped relative to Pepsi and everything else has remained constant, consumers are going to be more likely to consume Coca-Cola as opposed to Pepsi. Now, the concept in economics to describe the other factors not changing is called ceteris paribus, which means everything else remains constant. Only one variable changes. It's similar to when you do experiments in your science class, right? You only change one variable and everything else is held constant. It's the same concept in economics. You change one thing and you hold everything else constant. You don't change the price and the weather. You don't change the price and then add in a third beverage. You don't change the price and factor in a change in advertising. You limit the change to just one variable, assuming everything else stays the same.